Hi everyone, I'm Mary J and welcome to my channel. I'm Italian and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this super cute miniature backpack. They're really easy and fast to make and I absolutely love them, I'm so proud of this cute design. That's how they are, I close the backpacks with a string and a button or a bead. My backpacks um, also have handles and shoulder straps and I usually add a K ring. I like this project so much, I really enjoyed designing it, so I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial too. Let me know what you think in the comments below and now let's start. You need thread, I'm using a cotton thread size 3, a crochet hook, I'm using a 2.5 millimeters hook, a marker, scissors, a needle, K ring, and a button or a large bead. In first round, we're going to work a magic loop with eight stitches in it. When you have 8 single crochet on your work, pull the tail to close the loop. In row 2 we're going to work 8 increases. It means that you have to work 2 single crochet in each stitch. But for this project we're going to work in spiral and we need to know exactly where each round finish. So place a marker in the first stitch of each round. Insert the hook in the first stitch and single crochet. Now place your marker. Then go back into the same stitch and single crochet. Now there are two single crochet in the first stitch and continue working two single crochet in each stitch remaining. I've finished row two and I have 16 stitches around. We're ready now for row three. Row three is one single crochet in the first stitch and one increase in the next stitch. So make one single crochet into the first stitch, place your marker and now increase into the second stitch. It means two single crochet into the same stitch. And now repeat that sequence, one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch until the end of the round. I've finished row 3 and I have 24 stitches around. In row 4 we're going to work one single crochet in the first two stitches and one increase in the third stitch. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and two single crochet in the third stitch. Then repeat the sequence, two single crochet and one increase all the way around until the end of the round. I've finished row 4 and I have 32 stitches around. In row 5 we have to do one single crochet in the first three stitches and one increase in the fourth stitch. So, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch, single crochet in the third stitch, and increase in the fourth stitch. 
then continue working three single crochet and one increase until the end of the round. I finished row 5 and I have 40 stitches around. Now from round 6 to round 18 we have to work one single crochet in each of those 40 stitches. I finished round 18 and in round 19 we have to do one single crochet in the first three stitches. Then chain one, skip one stitch and single crochet in the next three stitches. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 4 stitches. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 6 stitches. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 4 stitches. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Then chain 1, skip 1 stitch and single crochet in the next 3 stitches. So we just finished round 19. In round 20 we'll do 1 single crochet in each stitch and in each 1 chain space. I finished round 20 and I have 40 stitches around. In round 21 we have to slip stitch in each stitch. At the end of round 21 we can cut the yarn and tie it off. I don't remove the marker because I use it as a reference when assembling the parts. the front flap piece, repeat from round 1 to round 3 of the sock part. So single crochet 8 in the magic loop, then 8 increases in the second round, then in round 3 work 1 single crochet and 1 increase for 8 times. Now start round 4 and slip stitch in the first 6 stitches. Then work 1 single crochet in the first 2 stitches and 1 increase in the 3rd stitch for 3 times. At this point we have to work enough chains to create a buttonhole. I need 6 chains. Then work 1 single crochet into stitches and 1 increase for three times. I finished round four. In round five we have to slip stitch in each stitch except that in the bottom hole where we have two single crochet. 
I finished round five, I can cut the yarn leaving a long tail and tie it off. For the handle, leave a bit of yarn at the beginning, then slip knot and chain eight. Skip the first chain from your hook, then single crochet in each chain. Turn your work, then slip stitch in each stitch. Cut the yarn leaving a long tail and tie it off. For the shoulder straps, leave a bit of yarn at the beginning, then slip knot and chain 13. Skip the first chain from your hook, then single crochet in a chain. Turn your work, then slip stitch in each stitch. Cut the yarn leaving a long tail and tie it off. We need two shoulder straps. For the string, braid three strands of thread. The braid have to measure about 20 centimeters. Now we have all the parts we need to assemble the backpack. And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. Let me know what you think and if you crochet this project, please send me a picture or tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I want to see hundreds of mini and cute backpacks. For any question, please leave a comment or contact me on my Facebook page Mary J Handmade, on Instagram or by email. You can find all my contacts in the description box. If you want more videos in English, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching and ciao ciao!